Welcome to Hands-On with Jota. So today we are going to take a look into deployments with a certain secret. So let's let's go for it. We are going to create a deployment. We are going to apply the secret, and we are going to access to that secret inside of the pod of the Kubernetes. So let's let's see how it goes. There we are. I already started the minikube here, so we are going to deploy everything to minikube. So. I'm going to enter here to this one to the projects. I will create a folder deployment with deployment secret. Deployment secret. Okay. So I'm going to touch a Docker file. I'm going to um, start. I'm going to start a server. Express. And we are going to access to that. We are going to access this uh, little secret. Or we're going to make the console of the secret when we make a ping to a certain endpoint. Right, so. I'm going to write it pretty fast, this index. Required of Express. Creation of the Express application. And then we just define the route. the request and the response and then we listen in the port 3000 right but here we're going to say also console log your secret we're going to access it from the process environment. The secret. That's it. Simple as that. So let's go for it. Let's create here the Docker file with from node 12 alpine I'm going to copy everything I would say that this is in the work here up um, run npm install cmd npm start so we create the entry point inside of the package json just we start node index let's see if it is working There we are, we have up and running, but there is no secret there. Now, we're going to need to define a deployment. So let's grab one more time, something simple like this one. And we're going to create the deployment. So, this 
is going to be no deployment. Only one replica. Here we have the specification of the container. The specification of this container also have some more things that we can add there. this one okay so we can see that this is in the same level of the name the image so we need to go one level up Okay. The secret we call it. The secret is going to be I'm going to call it mini secret because it's just irrelevant. So in my mini secret, I have the secret. Um, we're going to create a secret YAML. So So basically, we are going to need here we have a secret which is going to be mini secret, and here is going to be T secret. And we're going to need here you see that there is some sort of encode in there, right? I'm going to need this for the moment. So a communist N. Cat uh, pipe is sixty-four. The minus n is pretty important, right? Because it allows you not to have the next line of the echo. So that, that's important if you want if you want to do this properly. Okay. So we need to ensure. We are inside the Docker environment. What we need now is could be to build deployment secret. Let's remember that a deployment secret is going to be the name of the image. We're going to say also that we're not going to get this from somewhere else. We're not going to pull it so. 
we need here image pool policy to never So it's in the same level of name and image. Good. So let's see how many. Okay, there are some things they are running. So we are going to make a deployment. Let's see. We've got the image deployment secret. So now we are going to um, apply the secret. the specification of the secrets Change a little bit the size of this guy. But I don't name mini secret is not right. Do it all together. There it is. There it is. So, next step, let's create the deployment. Like it is running. Looks like everything's alright. Let's make um, a log on the pod. And let's make a follow. So now we are listening to all of the things that are happening there. <clears throat> we need one more thing. We are going to need to um, expose it. So type node port. We are going to change deployment for deployment. Node deployment, we call it so. Node deployment in the port 3000. So now we should have the service too. Uh, 
and now I want to have the URL of the node, depo node deployment. Okay, and here, secret example. So you see, your secret is secret example. So it was uh, encoded in base 64, it was decoded, and you have it that it is coming from the environment of your Node.js application. So it's coming from here. Process M, the secret here, right? So I hope that you like the, the video of today. It was a pretty, particular experiment just to try out some things in regards to secrets. Um, I hope if, if you like it, just give it a like and, and just uh, subscribe to the channel. I, I enjoy a lot doing this kind of things for you. So have a good luck. Have a, have a really good luck with everything here in regards to Kubernetes and goodbye. Ciao, ciao. See you next time.